क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have understood that is how we can prepare phenol from benzene sulfonic acid and now in this topic we have to talk about that is how we can prepare phenol from aniline so now let's get started Suppose if we have considered aniline and that is how we see we can write the structure of aniline as benzene that is basically attached with NH2 So now this NH2 or this amino group that will be very much responsible in the diazotization process. But for that we have to use certain reagent and that is nothing but HNO2. This HNO2 is nothing known as nitrous acid that should be reacted with HCl and at lower temperature that is between zero degree Celsius to five degree Celsius. So therefore, as I said earlier, that is this process is basically known as diazotization process. So now this amine group that is this NH2 group that is basically present on the benzene ring. So now this one will be converted into that is benzene ring. Which consists of that is N triple bond N Cl plus the byproduct that we could get is that is two moles of H2. So the product that we have obtained in the first step of it because obviously it is a two step process. So therefore the name of the product that we have obtained over here is it is known as benzene diazonium chloride. So therefore as we understand that is there are two nitrogen groups that are attached. to each other and that's the reason the name is diazonium chloride but this is not the final thing that we need we need phenol so that's the reason that the benzene diazonium chloride it will be treated with dilute sulfuric acid so as to obtain the main product so now let us understand this one so the product that we have obtained in step number 1 is nothing but benzene diazonium chloride so now that on treatment with h2o and that also in presence of that is dilute sulfuric acid so obviously it is nothing known as a hydrolysis process so therefore the product that we could get is it is the main thing that we will need is phenol along with that of this is nothing but the n2 that will be evaporated or that would be released from the reaction and now the main product that we could get as a byproduct is hcl so in this case basically we have got phenol so this is the main thing that we needed that is so this is how we have converted aniline to phenol by diazotization process and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got to know about this method also so i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ekita channel thank you so much